The opossum is one of North America's most unique animals, and they deserve our admiration and respect. Who else do you know that can eat 5,000 ticks in one summer, fight off rattlesnake venom, and advance human medicine? Well, the Virginia opossum can. Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome to my channel, where we talk about the wonders of wildlife and organic gardening. Opossums are opportunistic omnivores and scavengers, but don't look down on them. Not only are they voracious eaters of ticks, but they will clean up undesirables like rodents and cockroaches. And they are a great helper to organic gardeners. Opossums eat slugs and beetles instead of garden plants. The opossum has 50 teeth, more than any other North American mammal, humans only have 32. When startled, they may open their big mouths and hiss at the danger. Possums aren't much for being fast hunters, but they will catch and eat venomous rattlesnakes. Opossums have also been instrumental in helping scientists develop anti-venom because they are immune to bee stings and venomous snake bites. A peptide in their blood neutralizes the venom. A female opossum is called a Jill, and a male is a Jack. Jack and Jill. A baby is a Joey, just like with kangaroos. A group name is called a Passel, and there have been many times I have had a Passel of baby opossums. The opossum's name came from the Powhatan language and was recorded by John Smith, one of the founders of Jamestown, Virginia, as opossum, meaning white dog. Opossums love hiding places and will often hide around wood piles because they attract insects and rodents. Marsupials carry their young in a protective pouch. The pouch is basically a horizontal bag on the belly of the female opossum. It contains muscles and the opossum can actually close her pouch tightly to protect her babies. You can even see the tiny outline of the pouch on infant females. Marsupials have a short gestation period and therefore can support large litters. This is an important adaptation because opossums have a short perilous life, usually only two to three years in the wild. This new intake family is in the incubator warming up. The babies are the size of a bumblebee when they are born. When an opossum gives birth, the babies crawl from the birth canal into the pouch. There they latch onto a teat and hold on. Their grip is so hard it can be very difficult to remove them if mom is injured or dead. This short gestation period is because the placenta is fed with a yolk, similar to baby chickens. Many mammals, such as humans, are fed by the blood supply to a placenta. The young stay in the pouch for the first two months of their life. They then crawl out and often ride on the mother's back. Possums are weaned between three and four months of age. In warm areas like Kentucky, opossums often have two litters per year, one in late winter and one in early fall. Farther north in Wisconsin, they only have one litter each year. Opossums have prehensile tails, like monkeys, which do not have fur and can curl around and grip things. Their tail also helps provide balance as they climb trees, walk, or run. Opossums have also been observed using their tails to carry things. Only very young opossums can actually hang from their tails. Adults are too heavy. The opossum has an excellent immune system. Opossums will open their mouths and drool when cornered, giving the impression that they have rabies. In fact, they seldom get rabies, distemper, or parvo, and this behavior is just a defense mechanism. The opossum has a below-average body temperature, 
for a mammal which protects it from many viruses that cannot live below a certain temperature. Scientists who study diseases have done research using opossums on rabies and discovered this lower temperature plays a key role in them having fewer incidences of the disease. Opossums have an interesting defense mechanism. They literally play dead. This is a physiological response that is instinctual. Many of the opossum's natural predators do not want to eat dead stuff. The possum lies very still. It can even slow its heart rate. Do not move a possum that is playing dead unless they are in danger, such as being on a roadway. If your dog is playing with an opossum body, first remove your dog from the area and then go back to make sure there are no apparent injuries. Unless the opossum has bloody wounds, it is best to just let it be and awaken in its own time. Opossums belong to the family Didelphidae and have a variety of cousins in South and Central America. In South America, there are roughly 100 species of opossums. They are not related to rats, even though, yes, they do have some similar features. People often look at my logo and ask, what is that animal? Is it a rat? Why do you have a picture of a rat? Nope, this is Romeo. Romeo was an adult Virginia opossum who lived in Louisville, Kentucky. One night, as he was looking for dinner, he was hit on the road. A kind soul picked him up and transported him to Second Chances Wildlife Rehabilitation, which is run by my friend, Bergette. I will link her center in the description. She got medical treatment for Romeo and saved his life. Romeo recovered, however, he had permanent damage to both eyes. An animal that cannot see cannot be released, so Romeo became a USDA education animal. Second Chances, however, already had several education animals running around their center, so Romeo came to live with me. This is how Romeo spent most days. No, he's not drunk, just trying to sleep amid all the chaos. I often left his cage door open and he was able to explore in the workroom. His sense of hearing and smell worked quite well. He could climb into the garbage can if I didn't have it secured. Romeo lived in the workroom at the farm for two years and he was great company and he educated lots of children. He wasn't normally very cuddly, but the day he passed, he curled up in my arms and crossed the rainbow bridge with me rocking him. He is forever part of Fox Run. Opossums are well represented in indigenous cultures in the Americas. In Native American folklore, opossums are often associated with wisdom, fertility, and healing. Sadly, opossums are often hit on roads as they are scavenging for a meal. This tiny baby was injured when his mother was hit. Babies can often be rescued from a deceased mother's pouch. Check out my video on making a car rescue kit for wildlife. This was one of my releases. This guy is saying, see ya! Opossums are wonderful animals. I have an article on my blog if you want to learn more about them that I will link below. You can check out my video on making a road transportation kit next. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and have a sunny day.